Oh. Hi, my name is Nit Chala, and I'm the founder of FloodSmart. You get home flood alerts anywhere, anytime. Floods are the most common natural disaster in the, in the United States. The U.S. spends $2.9 billion in flood expenses annually. Even one inch of flood water in a house can cost up to $20,000. FloodSmart water sensors alert you about home flood via text message and email. And this is how it works. The sensors will communicate with a wireless router, which will uh, communicate with a computer. The computer will send a message to the internet, and the internet will uh, send you a text message and email to your mobile phone. Um, my competition are all the existing flood sensors that are already out there. Uh, one of my main competitors is PitBoss, which has a sensor that does almost exactly what mine does. It does send a text message, but there are a few problems with that. One, it's very expensive, and two, it only sends uh, text messages. Um, it also, you cannot get cellular reception, sometimes you cannot get cellular reception in your basement, and if there's a storm, that may not work as well. My, my sensor can uh, communicate with your phone uh, with using the Wi-Fi, and therefore it, um, the, the storms and being in the basement is not a problem. Uh, there, currently, there are 5,630,000 flood insurance policy owners um, uh, in the U.S. Even if 10% of these policy owners are interested in the product, I will sell at least 563,000 units with a revenue of about $17 million. Um, for marketing, I'll be using online advertising and social media, and since everybody likes to talk these days, I can use the word of mouth. Um, currently, we are developing a website. Um, soon, you will be able to buy products online and uh, sign up for the website. Sign up on the website for uh, news and information about the newest products. Uh, I'd like to acknowledge uh, Banu, uh, Surabhi Kalyan, and Janani Kalyan, the Honzo students, for helping me. Um, I'd like to acknowledge all the other mentors, um, all the other campers, and especially Jim and Carl, Carl and uh, Alexander for helping me. Uh, question. What would it happen if you had a like a power outage? And your wireless wasn't working. And your wireless wasn't working. Uh, we were thinking that we could also do use um, like just what the pit bus does as well, where you can uh, use it to call your cell phone as well, and so you can sell your cellular reception might be there, um, and it'll also be battery powered as well, so you can. Is that is there any other way of communication for people without phones? Well, since I'm doing it with email as well, if you have a computer, then you might be able to uh, access your email that way, so you can uh, get alerted that way as well. I noticed your ad said uh, there's like a picture of a flood and it said could be prevented um, under $100, is that correct? Yeah. Uh, so does your product actually prevent flooding in your home or does it just alert you to the fact that there is flooding occurring in your home? Well actually HomeZone developed the software and it kind of explains that so if you come up with Oh yeah, it doesn't prevent it. It said avoiding it so that you could uh, get there in time and uh, deal with the situation faster. Oh yeah, so some more software. Yeah. You want to show it?
I'm Servi Kalyan. I'm Jebmi Kalyan. Uh, and we're from Home Zone Technology Academy. And we created a simulation for the benefits of having the sensor versus the consequences of not having the sensor. So basically, uh, the, simu the simulation follows a uh, simple story of a man who goes on vacation with his family. And uh, while they're on, vaca on their vacation, their basement floods. And uh, the so we also show uh, like the difference between two scenarios, one if, we, if he had the sensor and one if he didn't have the sensor. And we're just going to show you uh, the simulation. shows the two screens and on the left side it shows um, obviously the water wouldn't go that high but um, if it did it's showing the high cost of how much more it cost to clean that up versus if they fixed the problem earlier and also there's a lot of mold and other issues with the basement without a flood sensor. Are there any questions? Thank you very much for showing us.